In this video, we'll be creating a face swap effect using the new Face Extraction Render Pass patch. To start things off, I need some footage that has two people in it in order to test the effect. I sourced this footage from pexels.com, did a quick search for how to convert from MP4 to WebM, uploaded the footage, and then waited for it to download. Okay, so just bring that footage in. I'll come up here to video, and then the plus, and there it's a WebM file that's downloaded. I'll just bring that in. Okay, there it is. It's a bit of stock, but it will do the job. The first thing I need to do is come up here to device, and then create a render pipeline. There it is, nice. Next thing I'll need to do is put in a couple of face meshes. So add object, face mesh, insert. I'm just gonna rename this one, and then face mesh one, just to keep it organized. And then I'm gonna just duplicate that. Duplicate number two, and then face mesh two. Now you can see it started tracking face number one, but in order to get face number two uh, tracked, I need to just click on that face tracker two, and I need to tell it that I want to track face number two. So there it is, tracking both those faces. Both of these meshes will need materials, so I click on the mesh and then add new material. Just call that material one. And then same thing with face mesh two, new material. just to keep it organized. All right, the next thing I need is if I right click and then go face, I want a face extraction render pass, add patch. And now I need to hook up my camera texture into the camera texture of that. And then I want to feed this into the material of the face. So let's get say material number one. I'm gonna turn it to flat. I'm gonna create a patch for the texture. And then I'm going to feed that in. I want to tell it that I want to track face number two. And there it is. So that has uh, tracked it, the second face and it's added it to the first one. So now I just need to do the same thing again for the other face. If I move that up, I'm just going to copy and paste that. Didn't work. There we go. Just organize that a bit better. And then go to material number two, and then change it to flat. Add in that uh, texture patch again. Link that up, and tell it that I want that to be tracking face number one. There we go, sometimes it, it, uh, you need to sort of click on and off to get it to work properly. So yeah, that is face swapping. It's pretty rough, and it's a, uh, it's got some pretty dodgy edges, which we'll just clean up quickly now. So one of the things you can download is the face reference assets. I'll put a link down below to them. Uh, but what they have in it is this uh, face mesh mask. So I'm just gonna click and drag that in. It's basically just a big uh, alpha. And then on the material, if we just turn on the alpha and then we add that in, face mesh mask, you'll see the edges just get a bit softer just to help the sort of blending. I'll do the same thing with material number two. Put the alpha on and then just fade those edges a bit. And there we have it. A very quick, very simple, very dodgy um, face swap. Oh, hello. My name's Louis. What's your name? 